Today, I would like to show you a small insight into the software solution packages of Amada. And herefore, we would like to start in the 3D level. We have our own SOLIDWORKS Sheetworks. Basically, it is a full SOLIDWORKS license with additional functions of Amada that enable us to prepare those parts better for further production. Here, for example, we have the assembly and I can go in the manual edit to modify this assembly. Here, for example, I insert a hole and going to push it through. Here I have made a manual modification and of course our SOLIDWORKS is able to save data directly to our database. But what happens if a customer already has an existing 3D modification system? Of course, for this we have our software solution. It is called the Production Designer. In the Production Designer we can import various 3D formats. I would like to show you which formats we can import. Here we have step files, IGES, CATIA, SOLIDWORKS, Pro Engineer, Solid Edge, and Inventor. Basically, all of these file formats are thoroughly used in the industry, and I can import 3D single parts or 3D assemblies. And this I would like to show you today. Here I import a small assembly, the one you have seen a while ago in SOLIDWORKS. Here we have, for example, the hole that we have inserted. And the first step in production designer is to define the material for this part. I give one click to the part and here we have the material selection. This is my material database. Based on which material this part should be, I can select the right material. And here we have the inner radius. The inner radius is very important for the bending for the die. We do the same for the other part select the material and the inner radius. The software is basically converting the original file on the right side to the inner radius that we know we can produce and we have the tools available. One thing that you can also recognize is the different formings. Here we have a bridge and if I zoom in you can see a tapping here. This tapping is pretty close to the bending line and there might be a problem and we would like to see if this is going to be a problem in our bent press. Another great function of production designer is to check if holes are near a bending line. In this case there is a hole near a bending line and we have a function it is called smart check and using this function the software can show me if a hole is too near a bending line. I can also solve this problem by inserting a notch like this one. But basically in Production Designer I would like to generate my unfold diagram as fast as possible. And this is what I'm going to show you now. With one click you can generate the unfold diagram. And if I zoom in here we see our notch that we just inserted. And for the bridge and for the topping we have special symbols. These symbols are very important for the next step that the next software can automatically detect and knows what to do with these kind of symbols. In Production Designer, we're also able to make a feasibility study. Here, we jump right into our bending, bending software, Bandcam. Here, we can generate automatically a bending program or from start manually. In this case, I would like to show you the automatic function of Bandcam and while the automatic is loading, I would like to explain to you some key features of Bandcam. On the left side here, you see a lot of question marks. In this case, this is the bending sequence. Of course, this is going to be selected automatically by the software in combination with the right tools like the punch and the die. This is the view from the right side of the machine and afterwards when we have the result we can simulate and see the parts from the right side of the machine.
Here we can see the result of our automatic function. We have a complete setup of tools like the tool and the die and here we have the bending sequence. I can also start a simulation with collision control. What you can also observe is we have our angle measuring system active and it is positioning the angle measurement system, the BIS, on the right position where there is no hole that it, can, that it might fall to. When I jump to bend number 5, on the upper levels, on the upper left side, we can see that my tapping is pretty near my punch. If I close this one, you can see that I still have enough space for the back gauge. Basically, this is the automatic function of Bandcam, and now I would like to show you what more can we do using the production designer. We have previously imported a 3D file with different formats, and now I would like to show you importing 2D files. For example, a DXF file with bending lines. In this case, I can click Detect Unfold Diagram and afterwards I select the material based on my database. I can select 1 mm normal steel and in the next step I go here to select a bending line and add information to this bending line. I can select if this bend is going down or up and which angle and I can select the inner radius. Very important to mention is, of course, the bending deduction. For the bending deduction, of course, I have to add some material, so my length of this flange will be correct in the 3D. After we have selected the different information for this bending line, I'm going to make a right click, and I'm going to fold the 2D file into a 3D model, like you can see here. In this case, all bends went in one direction, but if I click on the bending line, I can also change the direction of a bending line. Another function that I can do is changing the inner radius or the radius of particular bending lines. In this case, I change the radius from 1 to radius 5. As you can see, the 3D file has changed and production designer is also able to generate a 3D PDF file. I'm going to show you this. Here we have the 3D PDF and I can using the, my mouse I can twist and turn this part and I also have different informations available like the part name, I can add a customer name and this is open only using an Adobe Reader like everywhere in the world on a PC. Next thing I would like to show you is from a three-sided view generating a 3D model like this one you can see here. For example, the material thickness of this part can be seen here. If I click on the line down right, I see it's one millimeter of thickness. Basically, I have to click one time on extract orthographic diagram. Now the software is detects automatically which contours are important to generate a 3D model and now I click on auto solid. Here I select the material and now I have my 3D model out of a three-sided view drawing. This 3D model I can export it also as a 3D file like step, iGES, or parasolid. In the next step I would like to show you how we can program many bending programs at one time. Using this we have the Ape Planner. The Ape Planner is basically a software module of Amada the, where we can access our Amada database and import many parts at one time and this I would like to show you right now. Here is my database I'm going to select several parts and I'm going to import all of those parts because I would like to show you the programming automatically all of those parts. Click on automatic and now the software runs and generates each program for each part.
Now that we are done with the automatic bending process, I'm going to show you the different tool setups for each part. And like you can see, we have three types of status here. If it is green, it is okay, it is working. If it is yellow, it is also okay, but there is some limitation. And if it is red, the automatic was not able to generate the automatic program. Another function of the app planner I would like to show you is the common layout. I'm going to explain you thoroughly the common layout of Amada. Using the app planner, you can import, just like a while ago, many different parts and you can select all of those parts and try to nest all of those parts in your 3 meter or 4 meter bent press. I just opened an already existing program. As you can see here, I have different parts and all of these parts are possible to bend in, my, in one setup. And this of course saves me a lot of time for the tool setup on the machine directly. I also have a report that I can output, the one you can see here. Here you see the part name and the barcode, the part name and the barcode. Our machines are delivered with the barcode reader and you can print this out or put it inside your ERP report and start the production. Now that we are done with our bending part, I would like to show you our CAM software for our laser punch and laser punch combination machines. In this case, it is Dr. A blank. This is my software Dr. A blank and the philosophy of Dr. A blank is to do as much as possible in automatic. And this I would like to show you. In this window, you're going to import for example, DXF or DWG files that you would like to nest. Or we can open parts from our database, the place where we have done and saved our bending program. In the next step, down below left side, you see the 3D model. And here you have different functions. You can set the part quantity, how many you would like to produce. You have the laser material and the rotation, which you can define here. In this case, I don't want this part to be rotated. And I'm going to hit the automatic button. Here we have the material selection. In yellow, you can see remnants. We have a complete material management here with a counter. For example, we need to use two sheets. It's going to count two down. Now the software is calculating all the tools, all the laser lead-ins and the NC file also. Here you can see the already finished NC file. If I'm going to zoom in a little more into the part, you can see that our special forming tools are detected automatically. And for example, for the tapping, the software automatically knew that we have a pre-hole and then make the tapping. For the lead-in, it is also done automatically and based on this tri red triangle, we see that we have a micro joint here. In fact, we have four micro joints for this part. This we can also set automatically. I'm going to show you inside the configuration where we can find this parameter. Here, for example, we see outer contours, basically parts that are bigger than 10 millimeters. Please set a joint. And here I can define exactly where the automatic should put this micro joint. Since we have a lot of space left in our sheet, I'm going to the manual editing mode with a double click. And I can make the whole sheet full of parts. I'm going to accept the change and the NC code is now automatically be generated. Now that we have finished with the NC program of our new NC program, we can save the change either as a file or in my database.
on here. Now I would like to show you a programming for the machine for a laser machine. In this case, the ENSYS. And I'm going to show you different nesting functions of Dr. A blank. For this purpose, I would like to import many different DXF files. Here I see the unfold diagram. I'm going to select all parts. And here I can define the quantity, how many parts I would like to produce. In this case, it's 10. I can select the material thickness, the material itself, and the rotation. On the rotation, I'm going to set free, that the software is allowed to twist and turn all the parts, like you know in Tetris. Again, the material selection, I'm selecting a big format sheet. And now the software is nesting, including the lead-in, the technology, the speed, and the NC file. This is the result, and on the right side we have the finished NC file that is readily readable for the machine. But since we have some space left, we can add a remnant on the right side. I'm going to manual edit, and here I can easily set a remnant. On this remnant, I can also include a marking text. It's going to be marked. In this case, I will call it Amada1234. Basically, you can put anything you would like to. This is very nice because in the machine production, you can find this sheet more easily. Since I made a change, I'm going to generate the new NC file. And here is my result. If I zoom in a little more, I can see the different leading positions, the outer contour, the inner contour, and everything is done. Of course, I can make all manual changes that a CAM software nowadays can do. I would also like to show you another software module that is included in our software solution packages. This time it is the Parameter Explorer. And based on the name itself, you can see that uh, everything with parameters is here. Here, for example, we have our BandPress HGATC. And inside this Parameter Explorer, we also have a complete tool management for bending tools and punching tools. In this case, you see the different quantities for our tools, for the punch and the die. And inside the Parameter Explorer, you also have our bending deduction table based on the experienced values. For example, on normal steel, one millimeter, 90 degree bend, we have a bending deduction of 1.76. And basically, all of this information is saved on a central database that can be accessed on from various PCs and workplaces. And everything is working in harmony with each other. Basically, now I am finished with my presentation. If you have some further questions, you can go to our Amada website or look for your local distributor.